Many people have the misguided impression that China is burning billions of tons of coal and it just goes on and on and on. But that's actually not true because China actually doesn't use a lot of its coal power stations when their renewables are generating full electricity, when the sun's shining, for example. Now, China doesn't use coal plants when renewables are producing energy during daylight hours or when there's enormous amounts of wind. China's nine-month surge in new wind and solar generation eclipses the combined output of its 26 nuclear reactors under construction. China is planning 26 new reactors that would take it six or more years to build. But in the meantime, they're building and connecting five nuclear reactors worth of solar and wind every single week. And that trend is accelerating. In the month of May, coal hit an all-time record in China's electricity grid. In the month of July, it broke another record. Well, now coal is on a terminal decline in China. We've seen five straight months of decline in the use of coal in China. Not only that, but permits have basically ceased for new coal-fired power plants in the country. Australians are panicking. There's been several media articles saying our economy is in enormous trouble because we rely so much on exports from Australia to China of coal. If you mention this, guys, if you show this video to people here that live at Newcastle, now a lot of them, they're going to be okay. But many, many, many of them, a very large number will panic. They'll be stressing out and they'll basically say, I'm lying, that this is all fake facts. I've made them all up. And wherever my sources are, uh, various sources here, we're talking carbonbrief.org. We're talking The Guardian. We're talking numerous sources. All of them are lying. They're all making it up. This cannot be true because it's a threat to their livelihoods, to their jobs. This will affect hundreds of thousands of jobs in Australia. And honestly, this is going to happen whether people want it to or not. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Here in Australia, we've set new records for renewable energy. New records here on the main grid. It hit more than 50% across all of Australia. A lot of that's thanks to rooftop solar. Guys, I've, as many of you know, I've had my rooftop solar done here in Australia. You guys, I honestly highly recommend the guys who did mine. I'll put a link in the description. And if you use that link, they'll give you a bit of a, dis a bit of a discount. I don't get a kickback though, just to make sure you know that. Now, in the month of May, clean energy hit a record of around 47% of China's energy mix. But in the month of June, that number improved. In fact, in those four months, like I said, the use of coal has continued to drop. And a lot of people think, no, no, this can't be happening. This is China. But China is installing enough renewable energy every single week, the equivalent of a couple of about two nuclear power plants. That's the equivalent of renewable energy that they're installing every single week. I made a video about that, by the way, and that is that is real. In fact, I'm understating. I'm saying two. Some people have said five. It depends on how you look at it. I'm un massively understanding what they're really doing. It could be more than that, but it's at a minimum two, absolute minimum. And that's an astronomical amount because that's more than the rest of the world combined. In fact, it's about double the rest of the world combined. This means China's coal power boom is over. Permits for coal-fired power plants dropped by 83% despite leading the world in construction as their focus in China has just completely pivoted to renewables. And one of the key reasons for this is, well, first of all, the Chinese government hates coal. They hate emissions. They hate having smoggy skies. It's part of their belief that they should have a healthier population that does, doesn't isn't a drain on their finances by having all these guys. I did a video that said millions of Americans died young in fact, they said 22 million Americans died before they otherwise would have because of coal dust in America over the past 25 years. Now, the same thing is happening in China. And the Chinese government are not in denial. They're not acting like, you know, morons fighting each other and getting involved in these ridiculous debates. They're actually like, yeah, this is real. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not supporting the Chinese government here. Not at all. Not by any means. I'm just saying they are very well aware of the fact that this pollution from these coal-fired coal power plants is really bad and it's killing their population. And therefore, they are not approving coal-fired power plants like they used to be, nowhere near. In fact, coal-fired power plant approvals have basically almost become extinct. They were meant to be in 2030. 
But China has fast forwarded this. And the reason is because, well, the Chinese government's like, why would you bother? Why would we have a coal power plant when it's actually cheaper to just build out more renewables, more solar, wind and battery storage? As the cost of battery storage, solar and wind declines at a rapid pace and the efficiency of those products goes up well, coal power plants, they're not really getting any better. I've never seen any news articles saying, wow, look at this revolutionary new coal power plant. It's 20% better than the last one. It's more efficient, uses much less coal. And then the next version comes out, it's more efficient again. You don't hear that, but you hear that about renewable energy well, every day of the week. China led the world in the construction of new coal-fired power plants in the first half of 2024. That's not really saying much though, considering it's the basically manufacturing hub of the entire planet. Work began on more than 41 gigawatts of new generation capacity at the start of the year. But that was as much new coal power capacity as China embarked on during the whole of 2022. And it represented 90% of the world's new coal plant construction so far this year, 90%. So all of the, all of the demand for coal this year has basically come from China. But that's about to change. The Chinese government wants to basically eliminate coal. And therefore the pipeline for new future plants is really almost minuscule. Only a very small nine gigawatts worth of power plants received permits so far this year in the first eight months of the year. That's a reduction of over 83% compared with the first half of 2023. It's a pretty big number. That's data coming from the Center for Research on Energy and Clean Air, CREA, and the Global Energy Monitor, both very reliable sources. So this is actually factually correct. The slowdown in coal permitting, when we say slowdown, I mean, it's a capitulation, 83% is an enormous difference, has come as China's renewable energy sector is surging, adding as much new wind and solar generation capacity in 2023 as the UK's total electricity production from all sources. That's not a very good explanation. Basically, China installed more solar, wind, and batteries than the rest of the world combined last year. That increase in renewable power was an, an enormous factor in driving down China's coal power generation by, by 7% between June 2023 and June 2024. Analysts in China said, the development of clean energy enables the Chinese government to set more ambitious goals for reducing coal power generation and carbon emissions China needs to stop allowing room for fossil fuel emissions to grow in its policies, and it is pivoting away from coal. Power generation is different to capacity. For political and economic reasons, new fossil fuel powered capacity can be added that is not used to its full potential. That actually happens quite often. Similarly, wind and solar are intermittent resources so the amount of electricity generated obviously varies. And like Tony Sieber says, generally, when you have a build out for 100% renewables with batteries, you build out 200% capacity. There are strong political reasons why China might want to increase its coal capacity. However, it's clearly moving away from it. Coal plants as well are struggling economically, according to David Fishman, a senior man manager at the Lantau Group, an energy consultancy in Shanghai. He said it was no longer profitable in the long term to build coal power plants in China. The only reason to do so would be strategic reasons. For example, pressure from other stakeholders such as local government officials who might be concerned about energy security or short term GDP growth. Coal power plants lose money right now. They don't have guaranteed uptake. Basically, they're all in pain. All the coal power plants about, well, he's estimating more than 90% of them in China are losing money. So the private sector does not want to be investing in new coal power plants. This increase in renewable generation, coupled with investments in upgrading the electricity grid and reforming the electricity market will offer China a path to energy security without the dominance of coal, of needing to buy coal from Australia. Do you think, do you think China likes buying enormous billions of dollars of coal from Australia? It hates it. It doesn't want to be doing this. Now, this is a way as well for China to cut greenhouse gas emissions sharply and to improve the air for its citizens. And to be honest, the general population in China, they don't support coal. They support electric cars. They support new modern technology, renewables. They're in, they're in favor of that. If you ask the average Chinese citizen, do you like, would you like to have a coal power plant built 
in your basically in your region in your city all of them would say no they're firmly against it because it doesn't support their economy there's really no real reason for you know the chinese people to say oh no no we want coal power plants because we have all these coal mines everywhere and all of our families are employed in these coal mines it's not really a thing Christine Shearer, an analyst at Global Energy Monitor, said, The steep drop in new coal plant permits is a hopeful sign that China's massive solar and wind buildouts are dampening its coal, uh, basically its coal direction. With clean power now capable of meeting the country's electricity demand growth, China will cancel its remaining coal proposals and accelerate the retirement of its existing coal plants. Now, of course, coal producers will tell you otherwise. They'll say, boost it, buy our shares. We're gonna, we're gonna do great. Don't worry, guys. Coal is not gonna decline. It's gonna ascend forever. That's obviously all complete nonsense. Coal producers see the future differently, of course. They are unlikely to give up without a fight. In an article published on Tuesday, Shanxi Investment Group, a commodities and mining firm, praised King Shun energy one of its subsidiaries that is focused on coal for its efforts to ensure an adequate supply of coal for the peak energy demands of summer now of course in summer usually there's even more sun so solar is even more efficient during summer anyhow for the rest of the world these questions are relevant how will this affect our economies how will this affect the global environment china is the world's biggest emitter biggest polluter by far it's responsible for more than a quarter of global carbon dioxide emissions. But remember, China actually does have enough renewable capacity, more than enough, for every single one of its citizens to completely use renewables only and nothing else. Unfortunately, though, for its industry, it doesn't have anywhere near enough yet, but it will. The government has promised that emissions will peak in 2030 and potentially even before then. But that said, most scientists think that's too late. For China to peak this year or next, this would give the world a chance of staving off climate disaster, and analysts believe that with concerted action, such a peak is possible. And indeed, many analysts believe it's already happened. Now, why do analysts believe it's already happened? Well, analysts believe that we have hit the pivot point where renewables are so much cheaper than the alternative, which is coal power stations, or nuclear, which is, to be honest, neither here nor there, but particularly coal and gas power stations, that it's inevitable that investment in renewables will, will dwarf any investment in fossil fuel power stations. Now, what we need, though, is states, places like Texas, places like Adelaide, South Australia, to really um, inspire others, to, for other states around America to look at Texas and see what they're doing to look at what they're planning to do next year, to look at South Australia's ambition to be a 100% renewable energy grid by the end of next year. Those things are achievable, but really we still need a huge amount of public policy. We need to elect the officials who are going to build out renewable energy as quickly as possible because it is truly a race against time.